Oh my gosh, no, no, no. I actually feel so weird with my natural hair, like, oh gosh, no. <laughs> been so long like i know i said i'm gonna be more consistent but no really like i'm actually gonna be more consistent but you know like sometimes i get demotivated like i know i shouldn't look at views and subscribers and but it gets really demoving at times but anyway so i'm filming for the first time in my actual accommodation so you might hear like noise and stuff and people moving around but ignore that let's get into so today i've decided to like switch up a bit and i'm going to talk about as you can see labeling and stereotyping and just ugh, and like stigmatizing and all of that so um the first thing that comes with labeling and stereotyping um is the self-fulfilling prof prophecy so the self-fulfilling prophecy occurs when the person's expectation of events is dictated by a label that has been placed on them either by themselves or by someone else so um how do i explain so like say i was to label you no in sociology so i done sociology gcse and sociology gcse we looked at the effect that self-fulfilling prophecy has on people and be focused on it especially in a classroom setting so um say you was labeled like the bad child or the naughty child or the do you want to use the word stupid the less intelligent child and that's a term that you hear over and over and over again it's gonna like stick to you and slowly but surely well not in all circumstances but you know slowly but surely you're going to end up acting up to that label so the bad child will become the bad child as in they'll just cause havoc all the time like you see it in school you know that that bad child and it's like that in itself is a negative effect because i've seen it myself like once a child has a label and as much as teachers and people want to deny it, like, that is literally how teachers, um, treat the child. So, like, say they are a bad child or, like, a child that's slower to learn, so a less intelligent child. I've literally seen it where teachers will literally just give up on that person. And it's, it's sad because it's like, who are you to just label someone and treat them according to your label? Like, I just, I really don't like when people define others like who are you who actually are you it just it really gets on my nerves um so not only do these things like have an effect on the person but they can also have an effect on the way society treats that person does that make sense so um oh let me let me just break it down into different things so in certain communities right you have the way boys and girls are treated differently so you all heard the man is the breadwinner and the woman is you know the stay at home take care of the children clean the house body blah, blah 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 i'm not saying any of those things are wrong i'm not saying any of those things are right however the way that boys and girls are treated differently in res regards to those terms um it can affect them in what social mobility education potential earning like and so forth do you know what i mean especially girls so in certain communities and like cultures and stuff um men are they're given an education they're sent to school they're you know they're not even taught to cook or clean that is it's not their their problem but girls on the other hand they're some of them are so much as restricted from education some like you know they can read and write whatever but they don't necessarily go to school but some like they have no education whatsoever like to even read a sentence is just they can't do it do you know what i mean because they're taught to cook clean then they're married off young old i don't even know they're just married off and it's so sad because i i believe that everybody should have access to education and then from there they should have the freedom to choose if they want to stay at home if they want to go to work whatever whatever and um maybe back in the day like 
you know the standard brethren are stay at home mum like that was the perfect model you know the forgot it, the nuclear family you know yeah whatever i'm not gonna go into it but you know what i mean like the mum the dad the 2.4 children whatever how can a child be 0.4 anyway the 2.4 children and it's like maybe back in the day that worked but now when you think about it um especially our generation i feel like it's not like that anymore like when you look at the earnings we're earning the prices of houses the price of the price of everything has just gone up everything's expensive it's actually expensive to live and so when you look at that i don't think that many households can even survive on one income do you know what i mean like i feel like Everyone should have two incomes in the family. I mean, if the man or the woman can provide by themselves, cool, so be it. Live your best life. But how how common is that? Do you know what I mean? Like, you see grad jobs, like, when you're leaving uni, starting at 18, 18K. What's 18K? Especially when you're thinking about starting a family, like, oh, sad. And this is why people are having children. Like, oh, do you know, this is a whole different topic. But anyway, yeah. And then another way, um, stemming from that, you see the way women are actually treated in the workplace when they do decide to go out and get jobs. <laughs> and then what else? You see toxic ma masculinity. Boy, if I ever get started on that. So you see the way men treat other men and women even treat men on the way that men are supposed to be viewed versus the way that men or the person actually is. So you have like the the feminine man or the do you know what i mean like i don't know how to explain it but i don't i know you understand what i mean and then um what else do you have well if we go through history and yes yes i'm going to bring it up if we go way back well not even way back this was the other day and it's still happening the way black people are treated solely based on the color of their skin because of stereotypes and labels that have been put on them like this is what i'm saying um not even just black people you have the jews you have what was mahatma gandhi indians you have all of that like oh Listen, solely based on colour of skin, culture, ethnicity, whatever, and it's so annoying, but, like, I can only speak for the black community, to be honest, and even within the black community, there's labelling and stereotyping. Um, if you watch Boondocks, yeah, you lot know about Uncle Ruckus. So, I'm, t I'm actually being so real, there's the Uncle Ruckuses in our society that look down on other black people because they're like your stereotypical whatever whatever so they're loud they're lazy they're poor they're this they're that the other i don't want to hear it and then um and it's like again who are you to label people as in we're all black i don't understand why you're putting labels on your own like you're treated the same way by other people the way you're treating there's other black people so you're looking down on those black people but the white man is now coming to look down on you. So what now? Like, I, I just don't get it. And then on the flip side of that, you have those black people that look down on other black people because they're not your stereotypical type of black people. So they end up marginalising those black people. Like, people that speak properly or listen to a type of music or dress a certain way oh my gosh why are you acting like a white guy for why are you acting like a white girl for do you remember that you're black oh my gosh and it's just like shut up <laughs> like i know that's how it's so rude what shut up like who who actually are you to tell me that this is white and this is black like it just doesn't make it it doesn't make sense and then like i've always thought about this you know when you deep it there's I feel like loads of black people worldwide feel as if, um, boy, where's my trail of hope going? I feel as if, uh. I feel as if loads of black people worldwide, they feel like black people must go through some all blacks must go through some sort of poverty and stress and hard labor before they can make it 
and then they condemn those that are actually wealthy those that were born into that life like i know it's not that many but do you know what i mean and then they themselves are marginalized so they themselves be reaching out to other communities because their own community isn't accepting them and then when you see those black people hanging out with what whites and asians are what you're thinking oh why are you why are you betraying us for why are you hanging out with them i don't even know why there's a them and us anyway like but anything actually i didn't know why there's a them and us but you know <laughs> we won't talk about that but anyway um what was i saying yeah and it's like you're treating them like they're against you but you yourself marginalized does that it just doesn't add up like i just don't get it and this is what i'm saying like you people are ostracizing people leaving them out simply based on stereotypes and labels it just doesn't make sense to me but then another effect of labels and you know stereotypes is that there's people that don't necessarily fit into that stereotype so now that you've grouped people and you've put them in a in a category so yeah now that you group people and you put them in a category what now like what about those that don't necessarily fit into your category i know it doesn't make sense but let me break it down like let me tell you my experience so being a black girl um there's your stereotypical black girl like when i go on twitter i'm saying oh yeah i love my black queens oh yeah with their big bombs big breasts all them curves duh, 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 duh. And I'm just like, I don't have a big bum. Am I not black? Am I not a beautiful queen? I don't look like that. I don't have curves because of my disability. So my, so I've always felt like, uh, like uh, around black girls and black boys, I've always felt like, like literally, if a group of black boys are staring, I will look at the floor because I will feel so, uh. And like, you know when you see on, on Instagram and stuff, melanin magic, black beauty i'm thinking is my melanin not magic because i don't look like that is am i not black beauty because i don't look like that you see these these slim these slim thick babes with curves and they're always oiled up and fam that's not even love that's fetishization i still can't say the word it's a fetish that's what it is and it's just like it can really make you feel like your value has decreased because um you just feel like you don't fit in like it's not that you want a label but you want that label like i want to be melanin magic i want to be what is deemed as beautiful as a black girl do you know what i mean like and you even find other black girls doing it it's not even just black boys be like oh my gosh how can you not have a bum fam you're a black girl and you don't have a bum da, 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 da. shut up again shut up i'm actually so tired of it like i just i just don't get it it just doesn't mean <sighs> people really know how to raise tanisha's blood pressure it's actually not even like but anyway as you know this channel is about mental health and well-being and so <laughs> i'm going to genuinely talk about it so we know that people with mental health issues and illnesses and other problems as well like just general disabilities and whatever they they already have it hard to find work live in decent housing have um have you know good relationships with people um be involved in mainstream society all because of like stigmas and things attached to them and that's not even made that's not even made better by the media the media just adds to it because the media like it portrays um people with mental illness as like what evil criminal dangerous it it equates mental illness to um violence like you know in america when you see the people that shoot up schools and all that oh he had a mental illness oh he had a mental illness or like do you know what i mean like it just it's like <laughs> they what's the word exacerbate the whole situation and it's just like not every not even most people with mental illness like when you actually talk to them and sit down or even get to know them 
it's nothing like that and you know what makes it worse you have those people that romanticize having mental illness oh my gosh like I just don't get it. It's like they almost glorify it. You have those people saying, yeah, I'm depressed. And like you'll go on um, things like Tumblr and even Twitter itself and other stuff. And you'll see images of people with like cut arms and all those things. And, um, and you're just like, like for some people that is genuinely them screaming for help. But for others, it's like, is this your whole, they base their whole aesthetic on having a mental illness like that just doesn't make sense to me and let, let me just stop here and tell you what just because you are stressed or depressed today does not mean you have depression just because you like your surroundings clean and whatever does not mean you have OCD just because you have mood swings does not mean you have bipolar disorder and i can go on but oh my gosh please let us stop labeling ourselves if you genuinely think you have a problem seek medical advice because you're just adding to this thing where like you're taking away the seriousness of all these conditions and problems and it just doesn't make sense to me like it's already not dealt with properly well it mm, that's another debate for another time like it's not dealt with with the the urgency it needs to be dealt with like people with mental illness are oh, just dash them on medication whatever keep them on the waiting list for therapy or whatever they need or whatever other help they need and let's treat everything else you know Level. but yeah um it's not cheated like that and by you romanticizing it and labeling yourself and coming up with like i'm even scrolling through twitter and i'm seeing all these different new types of of things that you people are giving yourselves oh i'm this or oh, i'm that or oh, i'm shh, shh, put a zip on it please because it's actually annoying like this is something that needs to be taken seriously and as i said you lot are just withdrawing from it so as i was saying please let us stop labeling ourselves let us stop labeling others let us start getting to know people for who they are instead of putting people in a box and i'm not even just talking to you guys i'm talking to myself as well me i tend to um put like labels and put people in a box as a means of protection i don't know if that makes sense but like like mm, yeah like with black boys with black boys i just i don't know the label i give them but i'm not even gonna find like i feel very uncomfortable around many black boys so i tend to withdraw myself from them because of the i don't know what the label is as i said because of the you know so i tend to withdraw myself from them in order to protect myself so i don't feel judged because as i said i don't look like the other black girls and da, 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 whatnot whatnot so yeah um stuff like that like is weird but i need to break that break that um habit of mine but like everyone else needs to break it as well like it's so easy to label people and stereotype people especially when it's all you hear you're even taught sometimes that these people are this these people are that those people are this those people are that and it's hard to break it but we need to that we we actually need to and you yourselves we need to stop labeling ourselves and defining ourselves like i just don't get it once you put yourself in that box as i said in my very first video we need to move out of these boxes these comfort zones to reach higher heights bruv like oh my gosh but before i even finish the, the most important thing you should take away from this video we were created by god god made us fearfully and wonderfully so if such a being can create us in his image who are we to now come and lessen the creation's value? Who are we to come and hate it? Who are we to label it, stereotype it, treat it any different from how we treat ourselves or our loved ones? Like, what is that? I feel like we should all just spread peace and love. And, you know, as I said before, get to know people for who they are. 
and meet them where they are do you know what i mean but yeah um i don't know if this video is long or short because i feel like i spoke so fast but anywho as i always say if there's anything you guys want me to talk about hit me up dms what else snapchat instagram make sure you follow my instagram i have an instagram page and um it has motivation on it devotionals quotes i'm gonna start doing those daily what well, i started doing those daily so make sure you follow that make sure you check out my blog post um what else make sure you like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys